Alan Balls. Today's video is actually going to be a little bit different, but it is based off of a request that I got in the comments, and I was like, huh, this is an interesting request, not something like I usually get. Um, in like two videos ago, I mentioned something about feminism, and so someone was like, hey, what are your views on feminism? I would love to hear a video about that. I don't have any script or any notes or anything for this video planned out. I don't know where I'm going to go with it, but I'm sure I'm going to end up somewhere. <laughs> okay, so my views on feminism. First of all, I think the biggest misconception about feminism is that feminists believe that women are better than men. I do believe that there are some women who claim to be feminist that think that women are better than men. Personally, I do not think that women are better than men, and I don't think men are better than women, and I think that's what feminism is, is just standing up for the equality of the genders. I think the whole wage gap thing, which is everywhere in the world, it's not just in the United States, is so ridiculous. Like, why should a man get paid more than a woman for doing the same exact job? So I'm not saying that she should get paid more, I'm just saying that she should be treated as an equal to the man that's doing the same thing as her. So in regards to feminism, I think that all I really want is equality. There's so many double standards, and yes, I do agree that there are actually some double standards for men, um, you know, how there are for women, but I think a strong argument could be made for the fact that there are a lot more double standards for women than there are for men, um, which I think is why it's just made more of a big deal. And I have to say that it really gets on my nerves when women are anti-feminists. Um, I'm not saying that because it makes me mad when anybody has a different opinion than me, because I totally respect that other people have other opinions than me. We are all entitled to our own opinion. However, um, it upsets me when women want to go back in time. If you look at history, women Women weren't even able to vote at certain times and I have actually talked to women who think that they shouldn't be able to vote and I'm just like what 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 why why would you not be able to vote your brain is exactly the same as a man's brain I think there's no reason that any woman should ever think that she shouldn't have the right to vote I who that just I just don't even understand that let's see what's another topic next thing I'm going to be sharing my opinion on which is very controversial obviously, is sexuality. Here's the thing. I don't think sexuality matters. And not that it doesn't matter to you. I think it should matter to you. But I don't think my sexuality should matter to you, and I don't think your sexuality should matter to me. I think as long as I understand myself and what I like and what I don't like, why do you need to know about it? I think that's the biggest label that you need. You just need to know who you are. You need to understand that. And I think each person is unique, um, and I think that you can just label that as you. I I am Ellen. My sexuality is how I am and how I think. I don't think I need to put a label, a straight or gay, you know, like I don't think that you need to put a label on that. And I certainly don't think that um, we should be voting on if other people should be able to express their sexuality. Like I just think that it's the most ridiculous thing that we could possibly tell somebody that they can't love who they want to love. We never voted on if a man should be able to marry a woman. woman. Why should it matter if a woman is able to marry a woman or if if a man is able to marry a man, it just makes no sense to me because that's not my situation. So why should I, you know, why should I care? The biggest way that that is going to affect me is if I see them in public. And if you really have that big of a problem with seeing two people in public holding hands that are the same gender, you really need to reprioritize. That is going to upset you so much as to the fact that you're going to tell them that they can't do that and that they can't love each other. Seriously, are you just bored? Maybe you need a hobby. You know, that's not my situation at all. Why should I be able to tell somebody that they can't do that? I think that's so crazy. I don't think I should be able to tell somebody that they can do that or that they can't do that. I don't think it matters. That is their situation 100%. I just don't see why we would ever need to vote on that. Like, does anyone understand what I'm trying to say? I just don't understand why that's our business. And I feel this passionately about it and I have a boyfriend, you know, I'm not personally affected by this. I just think that is so ridiculous. Yeah, so that's my view on that. I think the biggest thing covering both of these topics is to mind your own freaking business. We just need to be peaceful and zen and good vibes and we don't need to worry about the negative things in the world and the negative people and their negative thoughts. We just need to focus on positive thoughts. I think that we are all equal as human beings. Every human being is equal to every other human being and there is no thing or belief or gender that could 
change that. I think that we are all just equal. I don't know. You guys totally leave comments. Let me know what you think about these topics. Let me know if you want more of these sort of videos. This is a first for me. I've never really done a video expressing my opinion on something controversial, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> As for now, I am going to go listen to my Christmas music and drink another peppermint mocha because we all know I've had way too many of those, but I'm still gonna have another one. Thank you guys for sticking around this far in the video. I love you, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!